tell me what you would like to know about your future other than that you are not going to get too much pussy with that beanie and your painting or your wall hanging is crooked and it's bothering my OCD please straighten it now now do you not understand what I could do to you well n nothing actually but Okay, fuck you. No. Well, there's no charge for the first one. Yes, please, ask me anything. Yes. Oh, how long is my dildo? Well, the one I use on the weekends or the one for everyday use? Because the weekends are party time. I have the very, the everyday use. No, it's just a butt plug. Yes. You know where I got it? From your mother. Ah! <laughs> Interdimensional humor. <laughs> Uh, I can see in your future a great fixation on dildos. Yes, I had a suspicion you liked the darker ones. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Once you go black, well, we don't want you back. <laughs> Would you like to join the cult of Larry? We had to promise many of the new members sex, but we have no girls yet. Would you be willing to step up and help out here and there? Okay, I get a lot of that at the cult of... Larry. Hello, young woman. I am a mystic from another dimension. My name is Larry. No, I am not creepy. I, I am starting my own cult. We are in desperate need of, how do you say, cleavage. We have none. We have many men here from Omegle who touch their stuff way too much. But we don't have any cleavage. Would you be... If you need nest, yes, we have quite a selection of them. Yes, it seems the middle-aged white men sign up really quickly. <laughs> if you can get them to, you know, release their penises long enough. It gets, it's very sticky in the barracks, if you know what I'm saying. No, they don't like to let it go. But we do enjoy some cleavage. Whoa! No, you are... Now, I do not only want you to join the Cult of Larry. You can take over the Cult of Larry. You are now Larry! <laughs> well, actually, you are Larry 1 and Larry 2. That's what we will name your cleavage. No, I will get rid of all of that. You know what? I'm thinking of disbanding this stupid ass cult ever since I saw your... Wait for it. Cleavage! Yes! You, you understand now! You know what? Being an evil overlord is not all that it's cracked up to be. Now that I have seen something other than the middle-aged white man penises. So now I'm thinking of taking this down a whole new path. <laughs> and this path involves the... Cleavage, yes, yes, you understand now. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. It has been a very... I am I'm having way too much fun. You are so right. I have a sports bra on my head. <laughs> this is true. I have become so accustomed to the middle-aged dicks that I think they have become a part of me. 
Oh my, okay, you, you just made it wiggle for Larry. <laughs> it wiggled a little bit and that hasn't happened in 1100 years. Before we go any further in this conversation, even interdimensionally we have laws. So are you a woman of 18 years of age or older? That's the important question. Oh, very good, because otherwise, Larry was never here. <laughs> but thank you for stopping by, Mr. Kenny Rogers. Can you sing a little of The Gambler? And I liked you better with the beard. <laughs> Hello, young woman. Would you like to join? my cult. I am a mystic. My name is Larry. We are known as the cult of Larry. You, you knew that was coming, yes. Now I am looking for new cult members who will blindly follow my every whim and desire. Does this sound interesting to you? I have some pretty cool whims and desires, let me tell you. Our eventual goal is to rule over all of space and time. Yes, I see you have interest, yes, and I love your hair color. You are a little bit of a wild child, and we really need that in the cult of Larry. Larry, yes, see, you have already caught up. You are already so much smarter than the middle-aged white men touching their penises on here. I can't get anything through to those yankers. They join the cult and then they break the rules and they get the floors all sticky because they can't stop touching those damn penises. My minions will love you. They will throw themselves at your feet because you have boobies. We have no boobies yet in the cult of Larry and it's a very sad time in the cult if you know what I am saying. <laughs> it's a real sausage fest right now. <laughs> Can we put you down as at least a solid maybe for the cult? Because I'm really hurting start here now. You're in! Yes, thank you very much. Now, you do understand that in the cult of Derry, of course, you will have to display the cleavage for the cult leader, who is, of course... Larry, yeah, that's a me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, oh, oh, are we? Ta oh, oh, I thought we were preparing the cleavage. I got excited for a second there. I was like, holy hell, this never worked before. I did. Oh my goodness! And I love tattoos. You don't understand. My cousin Roger is a tattoo artist, and I love some tattoos. It, I must say, you have made it wiggle. And I'm talking about little Larry. He's, he's wiggling away. He's like, I'm so happy today. <laughs> we have cleavage in the cult of Larry. Okay, you will be receiving a welcome packet in the mail to the cult of Larry, you will be the High Princess package, which means you don't have to show the cleavage to the middle-aged yankers in the dormitory with the sticky floors. Your cleavage will re be reserved for me, Larry. <laughs> yes, you already understand. I'm so happy to have found someone not only intelligent, but with Boobs, this is a great this day so far 
in the history of the cult of Larry. As a matter of fact, when you get here, just pick out one of the middle-aged men and I will vaporize him for you. Just, to, just for laughs and we'll sit there and we'll go, ha 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 ha. You are going to be a great asset to our cults. And by asset, I actually meant you are going to help us. That wasn't a euphemism to try and see your butt now. <laughs> okay, yes, it was. I'm sorry. Oh, hello, young men. Would you like to join our cult? I need members for our cult. You look like you must be, might be of Hispanic background. Is this true? Because we need somebody who's good with a knife to keep the other assholes in line. So, I'm just hoping that you could be like, hey, I will cut you, S.A. Could you, could you be could our you, sergeant, be at wait, wait. sergeant at arms? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I prefer yes. guns. What? I prefer guns. Yes, this is what we want. We need some deranged mofos in the cult. I want somebody who's going to kick some ass and make gang signs. That's bitching. We have, you son of bitch, you teased me. You probably don't have a gun. My name is Roger. I'm the dog that likes to get high. Um, you're n you, you like to do some freaky shit too. I can see. <laughs> you know. You, you know what I'm saying? It, it's like like this. You know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Let's go. Cool. What, what are we drinking? What are we drinking? It's not milk, is it? <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, fireball! <laughs> hey, come on, hook a canine friend up, would ya? <laughs> let me, let me, let me get. How, how do I get this damn tongue out? I want to lick some of that shit. <laughs> oh, I meant the fireball, not well. You know, and whatever else. I, I, I'm not particular. The way you giggled, I'm sure you have. <laughs> She gave me a happy face. That makes my penis wiggle. Tell her, tell the girlfriend Satan wants to see her titties. Satan wants to see her titties. Tell him you got Satan on the line right now. Send a titty selfie. Oh, wait, let me see. Oh, is he... Satan hates you. That's it. Yeah, tell her. Tell her. Tell her I'll start to like her if she'll do that freaky thing you've been trying to get her to do. I'll back you up. I got your back. The freakiest shit you can think of. The thing that'll make her absolutely ashamed of herself. If she does it for you, I won't take her. Okay, let's see this. Hold on. He says he will like you if you let me put it in your bum. You will have to go to boot camp. We call it that because we stick boots up your ass. That one made him look up. He was like, oh, things are going to go into my ass. Russian army may not be as bad as I initially thought.